Good morning, all empathic sensitive souls. It is Monday. I cannot believe the weekend is over. I don't know where it goes. It goes so fast. It's, it's unbelievable. I hope you all had a fantastic week last week and that your weekend was great. We had a festival this weekend and it was a lot of fun. I spent time with friends and their puppy dogs and their cat, which I love the cat, but the cat gives me grief, so I give the cat grief. So we have a love-hate relationship. It's just the way it is. Oh, hold on. My alarm is ringing. Can't it's be having that. Part. It is 5.30 a.m. I have to be up at Adam this morning. I have to take my sister to an appointment. So, of course, we have to leave at the crack of dawn. It is it's crazy, but that's the way it is. And when you get into the doctor, you got to go and the doctor can get you in, right? Well, this week we have a new mantra, and the mantra is, I trust myself. It's a hard one because as an empath and a sensitive person, we always walk on eggshells because we're never sure. We always feel the vibe. Can I? Can't I? And depending on how you grew up, were you allowed to have a voice? Were you allowed to talk? Were you allowed to, well, this is how I feel and this is what I think and have everybody be okay? Or were people like in my world, I wasn't really allowed to voice my opinion. I wasn't really allowed to talk. And if I did voice my opinion, my opinion was wrong. Well, it's my opinion. It's never right or wrong. Inform me, teach me, and my opinion will change, right? So how do we go about learning how to trust ourselves? And that's such a huge thing because it is not easy to trust ourselves, is it? I have a hard time with that. So to start with, we have to acknowledge who we are. Yeah, I'm kind of wishy-washy. Yeah, I can be a people pleaser, you know, because I go with the vibe. I go with the flow. But we have to be okay with who we are. And, you know, look back at some of those accomplishments, those achievements. And, yeah, I did that. Like... I'm the one that found this out or researched that or even if it's for your own personal growth, I googled that and figured out what I was talking about. I learned how to paint. I learned how to draw. I'm really good at X, Y, and Z. What are some of your accomplishments? Pat yourself on the back once in a while. Another way is we need to start listening to our intuition, our inner voice. Is, is my inner voice telling me, yeah, you can say that, or is my inner voice telling me, no, now's not the right time? Is your inner voice total anxiety and sends you through a panic attack? Is that your inner voice or is that just your anxiety? You know, start start to trust that that instinct that you have. Hone in on that. And then to start to really set little goals. Like today, I know I'm going to, I have got to go grocery shopping. I'm going to have to buy fruit. My goal tonight is to get my fruit prepped and in glass containers so it'll store longer in the refrigerator. And when I achieve that goal, acknowledge that I achieved it, pat myself on the back, hey, you did it. I know it sounds ridiculous, and it's a small thing in the grand scheme of the world, but it's important. So set a goal and achieve it, and then celebrate that small goal. Today, I put socks and shoes on instead of just wearing my flip-flops. Sometimes that's a huge thing to accomplish, especially now that I have to go into work. Be kind to yourself. And that's a really hard one because we are our own worst critics. And it's so hard to stop that mind chatter and say, you know what? You did done good. Don't beat yourself up all the time. Start by not beating yourself up all the time. And the less you beat yourself up, the better you feel, the less you beat yourself up. And it always helps to have 
people around you that support you, that love you, that understand. And you can ask for help. Like, hey, I'm, I'm going to try to do this. Can, can you help me with that? I'm going to try to set an exercise program. Can you be the person that I call that says, hey, are you exercising? Right? Surround yourself with more supportive people. Take self-care time. You know, when you recognize your achievement, pat yourself on the back. Yeah, I did it. Take care of yourself physically, too. I'm going to take a bath and relax and watch some funny show on TV. Enjoy that moment. Of course, there's always the great reflect and learn. Reflect on what you've accomplished. Learn from what works or doesn't work. Continue the what works stuff and let the doesn't work. Just let go, let it go, right? And then you have to be really persistent. And that's where I fall off the bandwagon all the time is I don't keep up my consistency. I start to eat healthy and then, oh, look, cake, right? And it's really hard because I'm such a sugar addict. It is ridiculous. And it's hard for me to keep my momentum going. But if I surround myself with positive, like-minded people that don't say, well, you know, you need to treat yourself. No, I really shouldn't treat myself. I do much better. I feel better when I don't treat myself with sugar. But it seems to me the people I have around me say, eh, I've had some ice cream, it's okay. No, no, it's not, it's really not. And it, it, it gets frustrating for me because there's times where I need somebody to say, stop doing that, even though I know better. So I have to be patient with myself and I have to be persistent. I have to acknowledge what I've accomplished. Pat myself on the back. Listen to my inner voice. Yeah, you know you shouldn't have that ice cream. Set small achievable goals. Okay, my goal is to not have ice cream. Can I, can I achieve that goal? Maybe not today, but I bet tomorrow I can. Be kind to myself. Work on my goals, but be kind. Have supportive people in my group. Take care of me. Reflect and learn what works, what doesn't. Okay, so going to a local gas station that has awesome ice, ice cream is not a good thing. Do not buy the ice cream. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I have to be patient and persistent. Stop buying the ice cream. So trust in yourself. And it's hard because we follow the emotion. We follow that feeling. And when you're an empath and a sensitive, it's hard to know what is your feeling or what is someone else's. And when you're at work, that's even doubly hard because there are so many more people around you. So at work, there's not a lot of supportive people. And it's really hard to be patient and persistent Persistency, I can work with, but the patience part, because we have such a rapid work pace, and then suddenly it stops, and you're like, oh my gosh, what just happened? It's like you run a marathon, and then suddenly you stop, and you rest, and then, oh, we, we got to start sprinting again. And so trying to be patient is, ah, that's a little difficult. Listening to my inner voice, once I can knock out everybody else's, then it's easier for me to do that. And the funny thing is, is recognizing my small achievements at work is relatively easy because, hey, I just finished that schedule I was working on. Woohoo, go me! And it sounds funny. It sounds like, Ugh, this is lame. But, you know those little achievements and that little, that little cheering squad you can put on your shoulder and that inner voice that's telling you, go you, go girl. That it's so helpful and it actually brings up your vibration and it makes my day go so much better when I do stuff like that. 
be kind. Be kind to yourself. We're always kind to everybody else. You have to be kind to ourselves. All right, everyone. I need to hop off. I need to get my breakfast. In. I really need to get my coffee in today. And then I need to hit the road running. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope the new mantra, trust yourself. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. And some of these tips on how to go about doing that, I hope that helps. It's a happy Monday. Have a fantastic week. I will check back in on Wednesday. Bye for now, everyone.